outside of 111 Menendez in beautiful Davis Shores. Love this mid-century modern neighborhood. Really large, oversized lots. Nice palm trees as well. So this home sits on 0.28 acres. A little bit larger than a quarter acre. Love this checkered pattern. So just gonna open the door carefully. There's a little dog who likes to pop out. There we go. <laughs> okay. All right, so right when you walk in here, they've got a shiplap foyer. Right over here would be the main bedroom. Looks like there's original wood flooring here from 1950, which is a really nice touch. These are not knockdown. Uh, these are knockdown ceilings, not popcorn. Like a built-in shelving going on as well, which is a really nice touch. Appears to be a wood-burning fireplace. It doesn't uh, say whether it is functioning or not. Closet is over there by, behind the mirror doors. And this is a king-size bed. So they do have some larger furnishings and it is a nice spacious room. Walking into the ensuite, these do appear to be original cabinets that have been painted. They're in good shape. Might need a fresh coat of paint. Kind of has like the board and batten going on. And then uh, uh, sunlight there, but I believe that they have like, the tenants have covered it up um, just to let not so much sunlight come in. Um, but that is a nice feature there. White subway tile all the way up to the ceiling and this tub shower combo. Tile is in really good shape. Plenty of storage in here, which is really nice. And then you do have the sliding barn door, which is obviously custom. So this home being from 1950 definitely has a funky layout. So we came in over there. There is a door that you can shut. We're gonna go out over here. So there's two doors into the primary. Right across the way is the second bedroom. There are a lot of windows in here. Just I just didn't want to, you know, mess with the tenants' things and open those all the way up. But they would let in a lot of nice natural light. There's five windows in here. Standard closet. And this appears to be a queen size bed. So this is a really nice size room. Across the way. <laughs> We have kind of like a bonus space. This would be a great, um, great office. I guess they're, the true closet is, is right over there. Not sure if they just have so much in there that they got the wardrobe rack. <laughs> um, so I can't really check that out to see if it is a true closet. But this is the smallest of the three bedrooms would be great for like twin size beds or bunk beds, something along those lines. Back out to the second bedroom. <clears throat> Got a closet here for storage. Another one right over here. And then a full bathroom here. So it transitions into tile. You've got a couple of cabinets here tile around the walls, kind of like a pedestal sink, but it's unique because it does have the storage space underneath. Open shelving here, fogged window for some privacy. And then this is a walk-in shower. Tile about a foot away from the ceiling, but all the tile looks to be in good condition, just needs to be cleaned up a bit but nothing is cracked. So walking into the kitchen, you have a great space here overlooking the backyard in Lanai for dining. You can see that they have a table of four. 
but without these items here, you could probably fit a table for six. All um, original cabinetry, it looks like. They have upgraded uh, the appliances, however. Nice storage in here. Electric range, microwave, dishwasher, and the fridge and freezer. So now we're back at the front door. When we came in, we went over here to see the primary. So now this is kind of like a sunken living room. So there is a step down. Nice big windows here and over there as well. You can see there's no overhead light in the center of the room and it still lets in some great light. Right when you walk in here, there's a closet. So this is a really, really nice space. You can do multiple different seating arrangements. You have a large TV, an entertainment center. There's the puppy. And they've carried that um, shiplap into this room as well, which is really nice. And then over here, so very original to 1950s, super, super cute. You can look into the kitchen. There's the sink there. So you can still kind of talk to people in the living room. And then, I mean, really this space, I mean, it could be like a wine bar. It could be kind of like a little office setup like they have going on. Really anything you need it to be could be a very cool feature. They have another uh, sliding barn door here with the same shiplap. And then two steps down into what they're kind of using right now is sort of like a catch-all space. <laughs> but um, this could be a great, you know, second living area. You can see the stairs there. Water heater is behind this door. And then you have two steps up here. So we'll go over there in just a moment, but this is where the kitchen table is and then access to the lanai. So right over here, They've made this into like a half bathroom. So you have a little window there, the commode, kind of like tucked away. And then through here is the washer and dryer. So they have uh, quite a few storage units in here, but stackable washer and dryer, utility sink, access to the lanai. Definitely a unique floor plan. I think that they were kind of like intending for this space to be like a fourth bedroom and that's why they put the half bath but like didn't add the door here. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it's really, you can, you'd can you have to get creative with this space for sure. But the good thing is, is that there's lots of options and I love this railing all across here to put decorations, things that are like true to St. Augustine, some artwork, super fun. So we'll step out onto the lanai, really big lanai, covered, fully screen enclosed, two light fixtures and ceiling fans installed. And then it kind of goes over there into like a little nook. So, I mean, it's a really great space for entertaining. They've built a bar here, so you can look out to the backyard, do some seating. Really is a nice space, and it has kind of like a vaulted ceiling. Makes the space feel a lot larger. Then coming out here, partially covered. Again, 0.28 acres, so really, really nice size yard. They've got a couple of uh, storage sheds on the property. There's the other side of this bar. So you can serve some drinks, some food when you're entertaining out here. It's a really fun space. Could easily add a pool if you wanted to do that. And then they've extended the outdoor living area to, you know, this deck, a couple steps up, but a really nice space under a nice mature shady tree. Ooh. 
I have some fun lights that because I'm so tall, I almost <laughs> walked into them. <laughs> oh, goodness. Fenced in. Great for kids, great for pets. <laughs> Access to the front yard right over there. And then you'll notice that the HVAC is elevated, which is really advantageous here in Davis Shore since the elevation is lower. And then even a nice side yard over here. So there's really a lot to work with. You can see all the shade from the trees. Okay, so this is 111 Menendez in Davis Shores. Let me know if you have any questions.